What up guys, this is Lamebot. Uh, just wanted to give you, I guess, a brief overview of my little home studio here since there weren't any questions this month. Um, right now I'm actually working on a DJ mix for a company here. So I have my Tractor S4, Control S4 rigged up, my Mac, and the feed's going to my TV just because sometimes I'm lazy and it makes it easier to, to spot stuff there. So anyway, um, I have uh, some of my equipment here. This is my Minotaur, which um, I take on tour with me a lot. And uh, it actually doubles as my EQ and mixer and stuff, volume, filter, and fade and stuff for my Ableton sets. Got my MIDI Fighter 3D, just got it a little while ago, still getting used to it. Um, probably going to be producing a lot more stuff to be able to play on that. Uh, this is my workhorse right here, my Ultranova. A lot of my synth sounds and bass sounds come from this machine. This was what I was using as my mixer for my Ableton sessions. The Zero SLMK2. It's really awesome. I love the auto map feature. Uh, I guess with some of the stuff I'm working on now, oh, got a message. Uh, it's giving me a little more latency than I would like, so I don't know. I'll mess with it later, I guess. Under here, in order to not collect too much dust, I got a Newmark USB record player. I know some of you vinyl enthusiasts are gonna be like, oh, USB, oh. Um, I just use it to sample, I'm not a scratch DJ. So I got my whole stack of records here. That metal tin right there, that's my pride and joy, that's my MF Doom Collector's Edition. Operation Doomsday, four LPs. Uh, up here, this is the stuff that I take with me normally when I'm playing, my two launch pads, my crane stand, my face. This Chaos Pad is awesome, it's not mine, it's a uh, Potencia Incisive, let me hold it for a little bit. Um, doing some really weird sound design stuff with it, with that and my Game Boy that's over here. So these are an instruments in the uh, traditional sense, but I got my Sega Game Gear here and a Game Boy Color. They got a few games for both of them that I'm currently using to get some really twisted samples out of using this Chaos Pad here. And uh, this is my Teenage Engineering Op 1 synth. Uh, it's a really amazing synth because you can pretty much create entire tracks in this thing. It's got a four track digital recorder got uh, drums, synth sounds um, you can play them and tweak them individually it's got a bunch of uh, its own built in sounds and um, actually some of the Hungry Ghost stuff the sounds have come from this sound bank um, this is where all of the vocals in my tracks are recorded the M Audio producer USB it's a USB mic Nothing special, it's a hundred bucks, comes with Pro Tools, so you're ready to record. And a $20 pop filter on it just to keep the, um, the syllabants down. So this is the setup when I got my vinyls playing. Um, the TV is linked up to the computer. Over here, and we got Ableton up with the isotope. Ozone 5 just to boost some levels and then we have a the X crackle which is from waves 9 and that's basically just to cut down on some of the crackle that you get from from a lot of vinyl especially older vinyl so it's actually going into Ableton right now I'll just start the record up to the eyes of Laura Mars. So, to get the sounds onto the computer. They're pretty much already there, they're just going into that track. All I'd have to do is hit record, and that's how I just rip my vinyls. I'm back there, that's actually a uh, the EWI USB, it's a flute, kind of. It's like a MIDI flute. Another message. Um, behind my bed, you can't see it, but there is an Axiom 61. 
that I don't use because I obviously don't have enough space here. Now let me introduce you guys to Gretchen. And here she is, it's an Ibanez Geo, it's one of like the, um, I guess it's actually one of the cheaper models, but it has an R type of body, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it's all blacked out knobs, which doesn't really happen anymore, and uh, it doesn't have that kind of ugly looking plate, I don't really like those, the pick guard plates or whatever, I uh, got double humbuckers on there. Uh, brand new strings These are uh, it's permanently well not permanently, but for me and uh, what I like to do it's tuned to drop D and uh, That's pretty much it other than that the other equipment I, I break out from time to time I got a USB MIDI guitar pedal there that I use to program some filters in Ableton and stuff and the Nintendo power pad I'm still working on uh, side brain, need your help, bro. Get at me. Uh, that's it. It's my studio.